Good afternoon everyone, this is Shane, your Nappy Chef. So today we're going to do a little update on uh, the aquaponic basic system. So you can see the, uh, the top is getting some, some growth, but the one thing I want to show you is the, uh, the bottom half. Now you can probably see that I've had some, some difficulty here. I've had some, some pest problems, namely uh, that chicken. Uh, Gertie, but it seems that she only likes the uh, the green vegetables. She doesn't pr particularly prefer the onions or tomatoes. So what I wanted to do is first of all, uh, actually I need to get a ruler so we can measure the the growth of the one thing that she didn't attack. If we can see that here, the tomato plant. And how tall it has gotten. So it is now about, let me see, it's about 15 inches. You can see that. And let's check on our root, root mass. Look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Now you can see how uh, long and, and white and beautiful they are, so that means that this plant is really getting, uh, benefiting from the nutrient rich water uh, from our tilapia, as well as it being uh, hyper oxygenated, so it's getting a lot of growth. So it's time to go ahead and transplant this into one of the bigger neti pots here and I'm gonna try to do this with with one hand uh, do. so I'm just gonna pour out some of this put it in this cup and uh, I'm not gonna do that I might have to come back, but it's all right. Hmm. Well, that's something I, I hadn't hadn't considered that the uh, the roots would get so uh, jammed into these neti pots. And I don't want to break the roots, so what I might do is just put it inside of the larger neti pot. And that's I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. And just cover it up with the um, uh, hydrogen rocks here, like this. I'm just going to spill that over. So... So it's kind of difficult to do this with with one hand, obviously, and in, in an iPhone. Um, the other thing that I'm going to have to do, since this system actually is designed to be uh, inside, so you don't have to deal with the uh, the elements and the uh, the pests, uh, may just have to move it inside or get some kind of barrier for um, for Gertie. Now I'm really happy what's happened with this uh, lighting system. What I've been doing is just running this for a few hours at night once the sun goes down uh, to kind of save on, on cost. But this uh, reflective material seems to work really great and obviously the, the plant has really, really benefited from being in the system. Now what I'm looking forward to doing also is these uh, bell pepper plants, they're almost ready for transplant. One uh, viewer asked, well when's a good time to transplant uh, your seedlings into it. So, not sure if you can see in here. Hopefully, you can. But we're waiting for two more leaves or one more leaves to come up. So, uh, once it has four leaves, we know that it'll be ready to uh, uh, transplant into the system. Now, and I'm thinking about making a modification on the neti pots. I'm very pleased with the, again, the growth. Let's take a look at that again. That was really awesome. 
uh, you know, this root mass growth. Um, and maybe instead of having these, these little uh, seed pots, just go ahead and expanding them to the uh, larger uh, neti pots. So there'll be one transplant instead of two. But, uh, you know, maybe you guys can help me out here. You know, give me some suggestions. What do you think? Should I stick with the, uh, the little small ones as this uh, prototype is being developed? Or go ahead and um, just cut out these um, floating rafts with the, the larger systems. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. This is Shane, you're an happy chef.